Hey Nerd Fighters Info, I'm Sabina and I am here to tell you a little bit about my Nerd Fighteria story. I started watching the Vlogbrothers kind of casually. My sister got me into it. She was really into the Vlogbrothers and I wasn't quite into YouTube at all yet, but every now and then I would watch some of their videos. I would usually watch them in bunches instead of on a weekly basis. There wasn't one catalyst to go from kind of a casual Vlogbrothers watcher to more involved in the YouTube community. But I do remember that it must have been sometime after 2010 because my sister came to me and said, Sabina, Esther died and I didn't know who that was. So that means that I wasn't watching Vlogbrothers on a regular enough basis to know anything about Esther and that the star won't go out whole foundation. So perhaps I came a little bit late to the game, but once I got into YouTube, I really got into YouTube. I started watching medium and smaller vloggers and started leaving more comments and being a little bit more involved and at some point I decided I wanted to start making videos. I made my first video in October of 2011 and my second video I think shortly after, maybe November or December. But I didn't actually make a channel until early 2012, I think January or February. I still vlog under the same channel name, Spiron Ties. I always knew that I wanted my YouTube life and my real life separate and so that was kind of part of the trouble for me is that I wanted to make internet friends but I also wanted to hide my YouTube presence from people I knew in real life. I remember getting a lot of encouraging comments on my early vlogs and that helped me to move along confidently with the rest of my YouTube career. And then in March of this year, 2013, I realized I had so many video ideas and I wanted to make all of them and put them all out to the world. I just felt very creatively inspired. I made the leap and I decided to do Vita. April was such a hectic month outside of YouTube, but also making and watching videos every day is crazy. I'm definitely glad I did it though because having the pressure to make something every day really does make you more creative and the community in Vita is awesome. We all supported each other by watching each other's videos and leaving comments and making video responses inspired by other people and it was just an awesome collaborative environment to be in. I became really good friends with a lot of people who were also doing Vita. I'm staying with one next week actually in New York. Another thing that happened in March of this year is that I joined the Ninglings and you've already seen Becky and Pat and Tyler and Zach who are also on that collab channel and they became really good friends of mine as well and obviously I'm so happy that I connected with them because they are fantastic. Right now they're actually the only thing that's really keeping me going with YouTube. I'm starting to feel a little bit disenchanted with the website but that's kind of normal to kind of go through phases of things that you're interested in and right now YouTube is not my number one priority. My favorite thing about Nerdfighteria though is that it's such a great community. People are really willing to help you out and be resources for you. I have made some really good friends on this website through Nerdfighteria and if a smaller community did not exist, I don't know if I would feel as connected to even bigger creators who are and are not part of Nerdfighteria. The Nerdfighter community makes a site like YouTube feel accessible to people who are not making thousands of dollars off of their videos. Generally speaking, Nerdfighters are intelligent and tolerant people and I love that there is a positive internet community in contrast to a lot of the negative internet communities that exist. That's definitely what's kept me with Nerdfighteria for so long is the sense of community and I know that's why a lot of people are here also. If you want to see more of me, I will put my personal channel link, the Ninglings link, and my Twitter page in the description. I can't promise a whole lot about my personal channel at this exact moment, but I will be making Ninglings videos every Friday and I do post on my Twitter a fair amount. Thank you so much for having me, it's been a joy, and I don't know who's coming on Thursday because I heard that Niall was sick, so whoever it is then, we'll see you then. Bye.